Welcome. In this video lecture, I'm going to talk about how we can apply the exponential smoothing methods in order to predict the time series data. Okay, so as we know that whenever we are going to talk about the time series data, especially when we have the fast moving demand. So we discuss this type of demand in our first two lectures. Okay, the first one we talked about the time series exploration in which we talked about that we can divide the pattern of uh, the time series data into three component one is the level component another is a trend component another is a seasonal component right and then based on the particular uh, components we are going to decide what kind of exponential smoothing models we should apply right so if we have only the level component and there is no seasonality so we can apply n and n model so n and n model mean we can apply simple exponential smoothing method okay but if we have the level component as well as we have the additive seasonality we can apply this particular model okay which is n a that means there is no trend component but there is the additive seasonality so there is no trend component there is a multiplicative seasonality right as we can see over here as well uh, from a graphical perspective as well but if we have an additive trend and there is no seasonality then we can apply a and n model which is also known as holds linear trend method right but uh, if we have the additive seasonality if we have the multiplicative seasonality as you can also see from the graphical perspective if we have the damped uh, trend this is the damped trend right downside perspective this is the exponential trend so all these models can be applied using r so a and a that is known as ho additive whole splinter model okay that is this one right similarly if we have the multiplicative that is known as whole splinter method that is the, we have the multiplicative uh, seasonality okay if we have the damped then we can uh, say is the damped multiplicative whole splinter method now let's see the formulas of these models or these methods this is basically the simple exponential uh, smoothing formula where lt is indicating the level component in time t alpha is a weightage value which is always lie between 0 and 1 so we have to pick the value of the alpha whatever the alpha value is going to we are going to pick and of course uh, as we are going to uh, develop these models using R. So R is going to pick the best or you can say the optimum alpha. So uh, by itself. <clears throat> and then YT is indicating the original time series data. So LT minus 1 is basically indicating the previous forecasted value or you can say at time T minus 1's level component. And again, as we have discussed, the, uh, the total alpha should be equal to 1 because this is a weightage value. So if this is alpha, this is going to be 1 minus alpha, right? So the future forecasted value would be equal to LT no matter uh, what is your forecast horizon. Either you have the forecast horizon of one time period or a two time period or three time period. This value is going to be repeated, okay, for the every future value. Similarly, uh, so this is basically the simple exponential smoothing formula, okay? If I am going to talk about the holds linear method, here we have the level component, we have a trend component, okay? And then in order to find out the forecasted value, the forecasted value would be equal to level plus trend and the trend component is going to be multiplied with the forecast horizon, okay? Whether it is two months or a three months or a four months, that is going to be multiplied with that one. So let's understand this is basically the alpha value that is a weightage value this is the original time series this is last time period level component this is last time period uh, trend component and in order to calculate the trend component we have to find out the value of beta which is again lying between 0 to 1 okay that is uh, r is going to pick automatically this is the current time period level component last time period level component this is the last time period trend component Similarly, if I am going to talk about the additive holds winter method where we have the seasonality component as well. So in order to find out the level component, we have alpha original time series. This is a seasonal uh, value. Okay. 
that is basically t is indicating the current time period m is basically indicating uh, the number of time period in a particular season if we have uh, whether we have a three month seasonal uh, time period or a four month uh, seasonal component we have okay so depending upon the number of periods in a season that would be going to be the value of m okay so this is last last time period level component this is a trend component so in order to find out the trend component that is the same so this is the seasonal component so gamma again is a weighted value which is lying between 0 and 1 uh, yt is the original time series data which we have the historical data this is last time period level component trend component and this is a seasonal component and uh, if we have saying that this is additive approach then the forecasted value would be the level component of this time period and this is basically indicating the uh, you can say trend component multiplied by the forecast horizon okay uh, plus we have the seasonal component similarly we have if we have the multiplicative if we have additive uh, uh, you can say damp trend then these are the formula if we have the multiple damp trend if we have the simple multiplicative we can use these particular formulas okay now let's understand uh, this particular formula so i am going to explain this particular formula how it is look like basically we want to understand how exponential smoothing method is going to assign the weight that means the value of the alpha if we see that the lt is basically equal to alpha yt plus one minus alpha lt minus one so if i am going to replace this lt minus one mean further if i am opening this formula so we can see that lt minus one is going to be equal to this one which is alpha yt minus one plus one minus alpha uh, lt minus two okay so that is basically the original data this is last time period level component this is t minus one's uh, original data then the previous time period which is t minus two level component okay so if we simplify we got this one now if i further open this one and then if i'm going to further open lt minus three and then if i'm further opening lt minus four i'm going to get this time series which is basically this is the initial value okay this is the current you can say value so now we can see that uh, as the time period goes back side or the backward side uh, the value of the alpha is going to be start decreasing exponentially okay so in an initial let's say if we are going to the value of alpha 0.2 so this particular value is going to be less than 0.2 and this value is going to be less than from this one okay so that's why we are saying the weightage of the previous time period is going to be uh, lesser and lesser okay that's why we are saying that this is the exponentially we are assigning the weightage to the previous values okay so the more current value it is higher the weightage is going to be signed by the exponential smoothing method now uh, let's talk about how we can implement these methods in r so we have the different approaches or you can say we have multiple functions available in r uh, which we can use to implement it uh, like we have scs which can only be used to apply for the simple exponential smoothing method we have the hold function which can be used to apply a and n we when we have the additive trend there is no seasonality we have damp trend there is no seasonality multiplicative trend uh, with no seasonality okay so these are the methods can be used uh, uh, to uh, by by using the function of hold and then uh, in order to apply these method we can use this particular function similarly we can use hold winter function so uh, let's see how we can uh, apply these uh, exponential smoothing methods using R. So for that, first of all, uh, I need to load the required libraries. I am using the package forecast. Okay, so I'm also loading this um, uh, library package as well as the third one, which is TSUTILS. Okay, so basically, I am going to use the time series this particular data, which is basically a monthly data set. Okay so uh, as you can see that i am reading this uh, time series with the help of the function ts basically this function is going to convert the data series into the time series so reading the data with the help of scan so i have already stored uh, having the data in a text format then i am mentioning 
the starting time period okay so i'm saying that um, the first data set we have for the january 2011 and the frequency is 12 which means this is the monthly data set okay now if i'm going to plot this time series data as you can see this is year and these are the values now what i am going to do is uh, uh, i am basically if we are going to check this ts2 data okay uh, so we can see from 2011 january to december 2015 we have this one so i have already break this uh, time series data into two component one this is basically you can say the training data set we have now i am going to uh, use the testing data set in order to check which model is going to be the best one so that is basically i have stored in ts2.test okay that is another another data file we have if i am going to uh, call this one so you can see these are the uh, 12 data points we have okay so now in order i am assigning this ts2 <coughs> in another variable which is y as well as ts2 dot test another y and then i am um, assigning the forecast horizon which is the length of the y dot test uh, equal which is the 12 months now uh, let's see how we can apply the simple exponential smoothing uh, method that is basically yes okay uh, sorry ses that is simple exponential smoothing method then i am saying y y is indicating the variable in which we have the data set okay h is equal to h mean that is we are assigning the forecast horizon or either you can write down over 12 over here so if i run this one and then f dot ses so we can see that this is basically the simple exponential smoothing forecasted value okay so starting from january 2016 to december 2016 so these are the forecasted values these are at 80 percent prediction interval as well as 95 percent prediction interval okay uh, let me see f dot scs that is the variable in which we have the results so if i'm writing down dollar and then model okay uh, you can see that if i am running it it is showing that we have applied this simple exponential smoothing formula and what's the value of alpha r has selected and what was the initial value okay if you remember we have the formula <coughs> in which we need the lt minus one value okay so this is the initial value that is assigned by the r okay and then it is going to be calculated these um, information criteria that is basically called as akai information criteria this is the corrected akai information criteria this is the bayesian information criteria okay normally these criteria are used um, in order to select the best model and usually these methods are always used in a comparison way so lesser the aic or aicc or bic values are the better the model is okay now if i am saying uh, f dot ses dollar sign okay if i am clicking the mean okay so what are going to be showing us that is only showing us these forecasted values okay then it is not going to show us these confidence intervals so these are only the forecasted value with the help of this particular command so you can further explore this one okay dollar sign if i am saying uh, show me the fitted value that is basically uh, against january 2011 to 2015 okay december 2015 so we have the actual data set and these are the fitted value with the help of simple exponential smoothing method okay now let's uh, uh, plot this one now i am what i am going to do with this function that is i am saying convert the time series data and then i am using the mean values that is the forecasted values and then i am saying the start date is going to be equal to whatever the start date in y dot test as well as the frequency should be equal to whatever the frequency of the y dot test okay then i am plotting the original data then the test data then the forecasted value okay and then i am mentioning that the original data line should be blue color the test data set should be blue color and the forecasted value should be in a red color so if i'm running this one so you can see that this is the original data set this is the um, you can say test data set and these are the forecasted values so this is how we can get the uh, uh, prediction 
uh, plot with the help of simple exponential smoothing method. Now let me uh, ap apply the holds linear trend method. So for that we can use a function hold. Okay. Then why is this the variable in which we have the original data set? Then we are setting the forecast horizon. We are saying damned is equal to false. Okay. So that means there is no damn trend right now currently consider this linear trend. So if I'm running this one running this one again, we are getting these are the forecasted values. Okay, these are the confidence intervals. So if I'm again using f dot hold linear dollar sign. So if I'm saying model, so it will show me the name of the model which is a hold method which is a holds linear trend method it is showing us the optimum value of alpha as well as beta and the initial value of the level component the initial value of the trend component as well as the information criteria okay let me say i want to apply <coughs> holds exponential trend method so then i can use damned is equal to false uh, false and then exponential is equal to true Okay, so now if I am running this one, okay, so we can see that this is holds method with exponential trend. Now, if I am seeing that whether the linear trend is better or the exponential trend is better, better. So based on uh, inform uh, Akai information criteria, this is 937, and this is basically 941. It seems that the holds linear trend method is not better but the exponential method is better because it has the lesser kind information criteria as well as bayesian information criteria as well as the corrected one so this one is the better one so let's try that we have exponential is equal to false okay so this is basically false but the damn trend is equal to true okay now we are saying that uh, apply the uh, whole uh, dam trend method okay so this is uh, with the help of dams hold method if we see that the kind information criteria is 942 but this one is 937 so that means the exponential one is the better one so this should be the false so this should be okay true okay and uh, now if i'm running this one so with the help of force exponential trend method we are getting this uh, prediction values okay so i hope you got the idea how we can apply the whole uh, simple exponential smoothing method in r as well as holds linear trend method in r as well as dam trend perspective similarly if you are interested to exponential smoothing okay uh, so right now by default it is applying the additive let's say if i want to apply the uh, holds uh, uh, exponential trend method with multiplicative approach then you can write down type is equal to uh, okay then you you have to write down multiplicative okay and then you can run this one right now it is basically showing us the holds uh, exponential trend method with multiplicative approach right so if you write down over here additive it is going to be apply the additive approach i hope you got the idea how we can apply the simple exponential smoothing method in r as well as holds linear trend holds exponential damned additive multiplicative so thank you so much see you in the next video